All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and this one right here is coming by Benny, and when I seen the title of this, I definitely had to check it out, because we all, if y'all watched my video from uh, yesterday, if you didn't watch, you need to go look at it when Joe Biden admitted to fraud, which we all knew that Joe, uh, Joe Biden been a fraud. It's nothing new. You know what I'm saying? And now I come across this one by Benny, and he said that, uh, the Congress left in shock as Nancy Pelosi admits role in criminal case live on the House floor. Man, 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 man. I'm telling you, all these people are frauds, man. All of them. You know, even Nancy Pelosi was mad when she got put out of her office. You know what I'm saying? She, she was mad about that. Where she should have been gone. Nobody likes Nancy Pelosi. Nobody. And you know we don't like Joe Biden. We know Joe Biden needs to be gone. We do know that. And so that's the reason why we are all pushing for Trump to return to office, return as our president in 2024. And that right there, my friend, is always great news when you hear that Donald Trump is winning in the polls by a landslide that just lets you know our president will be back in office in 2024 and his name is donald trump that's just what it is now like i said make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel shout out to everybody showing so much support everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section i also want to thank everybody that clicked on this video for the very first time i appreciate you as well and just before we get into the video i want to let everybody know is somebody in my comment section that is pretending to be me using my name using my picture and trying to tell y'all that y'all won a prize or trying to tell you to come to a telegram that is not me okay if you got somebody that's that's using my name and telling you that you won a prize and trying to get you to click on the link and talking about some telegram that is not me make sure y'all block that person make sure y'all block that person that is not me telling you that you won a prize or anything like that because if i ever do something like that i will make a video uh, uh on it i would never go in the comment section and just text people and say you won a prize that is not me. And I see this is happening on a lot of other uh, YouTubers channels as well. So like I said, if you see something like that, please block that person or let me know on Instagram and I come back over to the video. And like I said, and I uh, remove them myself. All right. Uh, now, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. Like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button so this video can get pushed out there. And shout out to everybody that always watches the videos to the end. Thank you very much for that. I really, really appreciate it. We're on the road to 500,000 subscribers, man. We on the road. We're going to get there. All right. Without further ado, let's dive straight into it, y'all. Let's go. Nancy, can I, can I get some stock trading tips on how to get Thank semiconductors you. in Taiwan? Nancy, you. Nancy, why do we? Thank is your son involved with Hunter Biden? Thank you for what you're doing. Nancy, hi. Uh, prison time's coming soon. Be ready. Okay. Donald Trump. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Benny. History doesn't repeat itself, but it certainly rhymes, especially with Marxists and communists. Now, Joseph Stalin is an interesting Marxist figure, probably the most famous Marxist and communist that ever lived. Joseph Stalin, of course, purged his entire nation and it's called the Red Purge, sent a bunch of his own countrymen to gulags, but he started with the people who were closest to him. He began with the people in power that helped him build a police state in the Soviet Union. Joseph Stalin purged the communist leaders who helped build him up and bring him up, sent them all to prison, sent them all to gulags, had them all executed. They were the first to go. So it should tell you a little story about the people who are trying to build a police state in this country that they are not immune to it. And that in fact, they will become the first victims of it because that's just how power works, you see. Nancy Pelosi is a person who has, of course, loved the police state. She celebrated January 6th, saying that she's so excited for trespassing at the Capitol, almost as though it was all planned. Man. Nancy Pelosi has lavished and taken great evil joy in the fact that innocent Americans have been locked up in pretrial solitary confinement for years and are getting decades long prison sentences for simply walking through the Capitol peacefully. Nancy Pelosi, of course, knelt to BLM on the same place, in the same location, in the Capitol mm. building. She kneeled down on one knee 
and groveled to Black Lives Matter, who was at the very same time burning and torching Washington, D.C. ground. And so Nancy Pelosi is a person who lives in deep and utter delusion and believes that the still police state tactics that she is creating for the rest of us won't ever be turned around and used on her. That's why it's particularly interesting and newsworthy that Nancy Pelosi was served a subpoena on the House floor and had the House floor clerk go read the subpoena for her in a criminal case. Now, what criminal case is this? This is extremely mysterious. And why does Nancy Pelosi feel like she needs to uh, tell everyone this right now? Why did this happen on the House floor? Who was able to get a subpoena to the House floor? One of the more secure places in all of America. This is a great question. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. Formally, pursuant to Rule 8 of the Rules of the House of Representatives, that I, the Honorable Nancy Pelosi, Speaker Emerita and U.S. Representative for the 11th Congressional District of California, have been served with third-party subpoenas from the prosecution and the defendant to produce documents in a criminal case in United States District Court for the Northern District of California. After consultation with the Office of General Counsel, I have determined that compliance with the subpoenas is consistent with the privileges and rights of the House to the extent required. What the hell is this about? That's what I'm saying. What? F so this is a federal case in California, in her district. In her district. And she had to be hit with a subpoena on the House floor and then had to tell the entire House floor that she needs to give documents for a criminal case. Uh, what case? What is happening here? Uh, Jesse Waters. Oh, Nancy Pelosi's being subpoenaed in a criminal case. Yeah. Ooh. What criminal case? That's what I'm trying to that figure out. That person who isn't Nancy Pelosi wouldn't say. Could it be related to the hammer attack on her husband, Paulie P? Because that trial starts next week. Does it have something to do with her husband's DUI? Or is there something behind door number three? Maybe a little insider trading. The son's shady business dealings. We don't know. We asked Pelosi's office to explain. They said no comment. Huh. But subpoenas aren't nothing, especially in a criminal case. It suggests there's something Nancy does not want to hand over voluntarily. You don't subpoena the willing. Yeah, you don't subpoena the willing. This from the Daily Mail. Pelosi announces on the House floor that she served with a subpoena related to a case where her husband was assaulted by a hammer-wielding invader. So the Daily Mail is saying that this has to do with the violent hammer attack against Paul Pelosi uh, a month after Paul Pelosi was nipped for drunk driving and driving under the influence. And who knows what else was in his system? What a shady, shady family. Nancy Pelosi is no. in her mid-80s. She's 83. She made the announcement to produce documents in a criminal case and said she's going to cooperate. Source said the subpoena was related to a violent attack against her husband, Paul Pelosi, by the home invader last year, it's not clear whether the former Democrat speaker will need to testify. So this is totally crazy. It is. What is the criminal case? Well, that's set to begin again next week. We'll remind you that this is the footage, right, from the cops that night that shows a befuddled, bewildered, clearly confused Paul Pelosi in his underwear. Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is Start going on right I'm not getting an answer on Paul Pelosi. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, and then something horrible happens to Paul Pelosi. Now, the lead up to this that we know from the security footage is that that individual who is a, according to his own family, a Democrat, uh, broke into their house, used that same hammer to break into the Pelosi house, and then was working, like, was talking and communicating with Paul Pelosi and was sort of like, like working through things with Paul Pelosi. Like they had like an hour in the house together uh, mm. before this footage is here. Like Paul Pelosi said he's going to call people. Paul Pelosi t t told the told 911 operator, called him by his name, said he was a friend. This is according to the 911 tapes. Maybe he was just under duress. Obviously, Paul Pelosi got really badly hurt there. Okay. And we don't want that for anyone. Of course, it shouldn't happen. It's awful. Uh, and the guy is going to be, the guy has been criminally charged, but it, there are many, many questions about like this entire video, like in this scenario, why isn't Paul Pelosi sprinting? Why is Paul Pelosi holding the hammer? Why isn't he sprinting away into yes. the arms of the police officers for safety? Why doesn't Paul Pelosi immediately declare an emergency to the cops? 
you, have you ever watched the show Cops? When the cops show up to your doorstep, you're like, there's a horrible emergency. Please help, help. Exactly. Look here, help. There's the intruder. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe the guy was, I mean, trying to stay, keep his cool. Maybe the guy was, uh, un, uh, you know, under the influence. I'm going to do the breathalyzer test. We have this footage of Paul Pelosi's arrest where a very slurry, drunk Paul Pelosi just months earlier mm -mm -mm. smashed in and nearly killed a man. I can see you're very unsteady on your feet. And when Paulie realized things weren't really going his way, he pulled a, do you know who I am? Paul Pelosi trying to get out, trying to, I'm a high profile person. Wait, wait, wait. Can we hear that one more time? I'm a high. And then this time keep it rolling. who you are and i'm not i'm not here to try to to do anything uh to okay we'll do. draw any negative attention to you um if you've been honest with me there's really nothing that you should be worried about in terms of the alcohol you consume if you've been honest with me about your consumption being only two two glasses of, of, of alcohol yeah but the police to their credit didn't really buy his excuses that and he had had a couple so Paul Pelosi what's wrong with the Pelosi's man he said I'm a high profile person what does being a high profile person has to do with you drinking and almost killing somebody I'm a high pro that don't mean anything that right there it's just like the, the Pelosi something is seriously wrong with them man because I thought I figured when the police came to the door, I'm wondering why uh, Paul, why wasn't he like happy to see the police like, hey, this guy broke in my house or whatever. He just sitting there drunk with a hammer in his hand. Like like th this right here is just all backwards to me, y'all. This right here is just all backwards to me. And, and Nancy Pelosi herself, she always in the middle of something. She always on the wrong side of the stick. And the reason why don't nobody like Nancy at all. We're going to find out this, this this criminal case that she got against her. But now she's willing to talk. This is unbelievable right here, y'all. He said, uh, I didn't think you was going to arrest me. What? People think, you, people have to look at this. Just because you're a high-profile person don't mean you, you're, just because you're high-profile, you can't be arrested. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. If you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong. You're drunk. Pelosi has, of course, a mugshot, has, of course, then has to plead guilty and did plead guilty to drunk driving and reckless endangerment and, uh, again, crashed into the car of a migrant worker in California uh, and, and really hurt the guy. Like, could have really killed, could have killed him. Paul Pelosi was, mm -hmm. at the very least, blackout drunk, slurring and unable to pass a sobriety test. Uh, this is the man... Paul DePape, who w broke into Pelosi's house last year, and uh, DePape was, you know, I mean, listen, it, you know, they, they say he's a he's a crazy person, um, but here he is also with DePape pictured with the with a bride at a wedding, some naked some naked wedding it looks like. Yikes! Uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, all right. DePape's kids. Here's the place where DePape broke into the Pelosi's house. DePape's kids um, say that he's a Democrat mm. and that he's a lifelong Democrat and that he supported the Pelosi's. So, I, I you know, so it's, the entire thing is very confusing. Paul Pelosi have been released. That's what I'm saying. It is. If he said he's a the guy that broke in as a Democrat and he liked the Pelosi's like – what this whole situation is about then? Because obviously when the police showed up at the door, you didn't see Paul Pelosi say anything like he was in danger or anything like that. He's just drunk in his underwear with a hammer in his hand. So it, I'm just like, Ben, it's just confusing to me. Nancy Pelosi, Paul, they, they both confused, confused the mess out of me. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Sort of. We can't see it yet. But prosecutors played both tapes in court yesterday during Hammerman David DePape's preliminary hearing. According to reports from the courtroom, the body cam footage shows police they stood five feet away as DePape and Pelosi struggled for the hammer. 
and only tackled the pape after he'd already hit Pelosi in the head. Good. But we still don't know who opened the door. Was it Paul? Was it the cops? Did they not play that part of the footage in the courtroom? Why is this such a simple detail so hard to pin down? We also learned who else was on DePape's hit list, Gavin Newsom, Hunter Biden, and Tom Hanks. How does anybody hate Tom Hanks? That's how I know the guy's crazy. He wanted to take down Tom. Meanwhile, DePape's son is speaking out. Sky Gonzalez, yeah, he goes by the name Sky, told the DailyMail.com that his dad wasn't a right-wing radical after all. Sky said, my father had progressive views. He was a peace mm-hmm. activist, hardly a right-wing conservative. There you go. Mm. There you go. That's how the, this is how the fake news works. People asking questions. What is the criminal case? And- now, if you look at this, just like what this right here say, because like I said, y'all, I'm trying to figure this out because it's just all confusing to me. Just like the, uh, uh, Jesse Wetter say, uh, Water said, Benny said the same thing. Now, we got them say Nancy Pelosi's uh, drink driver husband. I'm pretty sure they meant to say drunk driver. Nancy Pelosi's drunk driver husband, Paul, is blasted for buying five million of shares in a semiconductor firm days before a congressional vote that could hand 52 mm, 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 to chip manufacturers. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. And if you have to subpoena somebody, that means they're not willing to give the documents willingly. That means some yep, something right. foul is a play. Yep. If you have to subpoena someone, that means you are forcing them to hand over the documents. Exactly. Nancy Pelosi's drink driver husband, Paul, blasted for buying $5 billion of shares of seven conductor firm before Congress voted to pass $5.2 billion chip manufacturers. So is this potentially related to insider trading? As the Pelosi's have often done, how did the Pelosi's get hundreds of millions of dollars worth of family fortune? when they both came from effectively nothing? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And why are the Pelosi family friends turning on them? There have been multiple articles written about how Paul Pelosi is a sort of degenerate and how Nancy Pelosi hates him and how they have, like, it's always these people with these, like, broken, broken broken-ass, destructive personal lives who seek power because they can't control anything else. They want to control you. So Nancy Pelosi getting subpoenaed in a criminal case in California. You don't subpoena the willing. Something's amiss here. It something's is. up. Something's wrong. I just feel like something is, like I said before, something is being hid that we don't know about in her own state. We're in California. Something, man, come on. <laughs> something is there. Cause like, like he said, to, bear, to, to get subpoenaed, obviously you didn't want to hand over the documents. You didn't want to hand over something. The reason why they had to subpoena you. So that's what we're trying to get down to the bottom of, though. Now, you'll recall that the reporter, if, if you remember this, and this is this story is from almost a year ago when we were doing big reporting on this. The reporter, the local reporter, who actually dug into the Pelosi's and asked real questions about, like, who was opening the door and why was this man inside of the house and did the two know each other? This reporter, this local news reporter in San Francisco, this guy was deep sixed to Alaska. This guy got, Pelosi got this guy fired effectively from his job for doing real reporting on this story. This is how scared the Pelosi's are about this hammer time situation. They got, um, they got the man fired for reporting on it. Oh man, come on. And we know that the Pelosi, they corrupt too. But you got somebody fired for reporting on this hammer situation. Because it just seemed odd. Again, don't want anyone to get hurt. Upset. We, we want everyone to live peaceful, happy lives. But the Pelosi's clearly got this reporter, Miguel Aguilar is his name, uh, uh, taken off the beat and like banished. Because he actually asked real questions about this report. Watch. Craig, good morning. When officers arrived here at the Pelosi home exactly a week ago today, they initially didn't have any idea exactly what was going on. They knew they had a high priority call on their hand. What was unclear, what was happening inside the property just behind me. 
This morning, Paul Pelosi is home, back at the house that became a crime scene a week ago today. NBC News learning new details about the moments police arrived. Sources familiar with what unfolded in the Pelosi residence now revealing when officers responded to the high priority call, they were seemingly unaware they'd been called to the home of the Speaker of the House. After a knock and announce, the front door was opened by Mr. Pelosi. The 82 year old did not immediately declare an emergency or tried to leave his home, but instead began walking several feet back into the foyer toward the assailant and away from police. It's unclear if the 82 year old was already injured or what his mental state was, say sources. According to court documents, when the officer asked what was going on, defendant smiled and said everything's good. But instantaneously, a struggle ensued as police clearly saw David DePap strike Paul Pelosi in the head with a hammer. After tackling the suspect, officers rushed to Mr. Pelosi, who was lying in a pool of blood. What we do know is he brutally attacked Mr. Pelosi and attempted to kill him. After spending several days in the ICU, Pelosi, who is recovering from a fractured skull and serious injuries to his arm and hand, is now home where Capitol Police remain on alert. Investigators have previously said Pelosi did not know DePap when the 42-year-old broke into his home. Why Pelosi didn't try to flee or tell responding officers he was in distress is that's the thing though like why didn't he why didn't he say anything like he he should have told the police officer everything but he didn't like that's what we was trying to figure out why didn't he say anything is unclear. Fear takes over. Fear freezes people. This morning, the 82-year-old lucky to be alive after an intruder nearly killed him in his own home. Law enforcement, tell, law enforcement officials tell us the bottom line here is this was a terrifying situation. We still don't know exactly what unfolded between Mr. Pelosi and the suspect for the 30 minutes they were alone inside that house before police arrived. Officials who were investigating this matter would not go into further details about these new details. Craig, back to you. Yeah, one thing's for sure, though. He is lucky to be alive. Miguel Amelgar for us. Miguel, thank you. He is lucky to be alive over something like that, man. You... No, uh, I'm pretty sure he should have had cameras like all in that house too. That way that, uh, you know, they could have got footage from the inside from when it first started. Cause normally when somebody is high profile, ask the Pelosi or anybody in their situation, you will have cameras up in there, like almost in every room all through the house. That way they can see everything. But, I, but he didn't know. He never ran to the police and say that he was uh, under attack. Oh, this man broke in my house. He's trying to kill. Like, he didn't say any of that. He was just sitting there. So, I mean, that was, it's just so confusing, man. That's the reason why I said we'll see if uh, more uh, more stuff comes out or anything like that. Y'all, uh, let me know what y'all think about this. And appreciate everybody that made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end with me. Like I said, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.